So my name is Laura Spagnolo and I work at the University of Edinburgh where uh, we are using uh, structural biology tools and in particular structural electron microscopy to gain an insight into the function of macromolecular complexes, in particular protein nucleic acid complexes. In this instance, I will tell you about some work that we've been doing recently on a couple of CRISPR complexes in Sulfolobus sulfataricus. So CRISPR complexes are involved in some sort of immune response that Sulfolobus uh, puts in place upon viral infection. So in particular, I'll be telling you about the electron microscopy work we did on the Sulfolobal CSM complex. This is a collaboration with Malcolm White's lab in St Andrews who prepared a wonderful sample that uh, he characterised biochemically and sent, sent the sample off to characterise structurally to our lab. What we do is preparing a sample where we spot this, this uh, recombinant protein nucleic acid complex on a very thin layer of carbon, which we then put under, under an electron beam so that we can actually visualize projections of isolated copies of, of, this, uh, of the complex of interest. So in this slide, in the white circles, you can see individual copies of this, the SSO-CSM complex, which have fallen on the carbon, on the thin layer of carbon, in different orientations. You can see that they have a slightly elongated shape, and you can already figure out that there might be two filaments intertwined in the air, so that's a quite uh, distinctive shape. Upon 2D classification of individual images of the complex, we actually confirm this, uh, this first uh, intuition we had when looking at the raw images. So here we have a fairly well um, behaved complex which uh, classifies very nicely into a long assembly where two filaments are, are intertwined and connected at the wider base and a more, uh, at a smaller apex, as we call it. So with image processing um, protocols, we calculated a three-dimensional shape starting from these two-dimensional images. So this three-dimensional shape confirms that the assembly, this is a protein RNA assembly, is formed by two, uh, two filaments which are intertwined. One is thicker and one is uh, a bit thinner. The thicker filament uh, has been shown by native mass spec analysis uh, performed by the Robinson Lab, which we'll, with which we are also collaborating, uh, has confirmed that uh, that uh, the 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 RNA molecule attached to the complex is actually localized at the broader filament. And then, as you see, further features, quite uh, quite characteristic features of this complex, are wide base or head, as somebody else calls it and a tiny apex or tail, as other groups uh, decided to call it. So we then set off to compare the CSM complex with other known complexes, with, other, with structures for other CRISPR complexes, in particular the cascade backbone, which is a bacterial CRISPR uh, complex, and here you can see that this uh, sort of backbone, it's, it's, it really looks like a spine, like our, the spine that we have at the back, so it's, it's like a little tiny organism uh, with, with vertebrae. <laughs> Which, which, has, which are really quite, uh, quite fun to fit into, into the bulges of, um, of, of this uh, 3D reconstruction. This was, this was quite fun. Uh, it's interesting to see that the pitch of both uh, wide filament in our complex and, and this uh, minimum spine from the cascade complex uh, fit beautifully together. An analogy between the DNA recombination protein RecA and CRISPR assemblies uh, has been thought of for a while, but never really pinned down. So it was quite interesting to see that fitting the crystallographic structure for RecA, which is, again, it's, it's a protein involved in recombination, in DNA recombination. It doesn't have much to do with CRISPRs, but it fits beautifully. So again, you see that the two filaments are intertwined. They are the same thickness, 
uh, so that's a difference. But the pitch and the length of Red K fit absolutely beautifully into the CMR structure. So this was quite uh, surprising in a way, this beautiful, how, how beautiful this fit is. So we're now setting out to understand uh, a little bit better how our structural data can give a real understanding, a real mechanistic understanding on the function of CSM. And this is future work, uh, which involves lots of biochemistry as well as more structural biology. So this work has been funded on a BBSRC grant, which was awarded jointly to my lab and uh, Malcolm's, Malcolm White's lab. The electron microscopy facility at Edinburgh is funded mainly on a Wellcome Trust equipment grant on uh, money given by the Scottish University's Life Science Alliance and by the Darwin Trust of Edinburgh. And I really thank all of the people in my lab who were who were involved in, in this work, in particular Giuseppe Canone and the collaborators in St Andrews and Oxford.